Back to see you here. What the fuck was that? Every damn night, every damn nightmare. Uh, at least the nights are more exciting than whatever I've been up to. Uh, just what have I been up to this time? Hmm. My phone. What happened to it? I had a phone, now I don't. It must be here somewhere. The back is broken in two. Maybe someone missed their sitting target. I got this music box as a present from my grandpa. I always wondered why it was so important to him. Even as a child, I found it too kitschy. I think it needs a very special key to wind it up. And I don't have it. A page of the daily newspaper. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. Chief Jaeger, my former boss. Isn't that just a face even a mother would punch? Most upsetting view after waking up, or any time of day. I should just stop reading newspapers altogether. I'll go all in and say this was today's dinner. There might be more clues about. Looks like I had a party of four, all by myself. I feel something in my memory stirring. I think I can piece it together now. Fried noodles, beer, and weed. My usual dinner. I should try something else. I was just enjoying a smoke and then I saw this face. I might have been upset about it. In my upsetness, I might have been tossing things around. I remember throwing something across the room. Let's see, if I was standing here, tossing things, and my phone was one of them, from this angle, it's somewhere under the shelves. But there was no fight, at all. Well, that's depressing. All that belonged to Grandpa. Most of it relates to that case he was always talking about. His unsolved mystery. As a child, I thought I was a bit kooky. Now though, now I understand him all too well. Much like me, he had this case he was obsessed with. Unlike me, he kept a useful journal. Maybe I'll take a look at it sometime. 
of Grandma dying so early made him a bit, uh, weird. Granddad's old police identification. <sighs> Wonder what he would think about his granddaughter being dismissed at age 35. All right, let's get you out of here. What the fuck? I have 53 unread messages. All from Johannes. I met JB, of course. And a voicemail. Hi, sis! Come and join us at the Vicen ASAP! The vibe is great! We're... Eh, what's this? Oh, we're, we're in the Wolpertinga Brow Tent. Uh, and bring some cash. We're kind of running dry over here. Bye! I really don't get why my bro loves Oktoberfest so much. I mean, why go to a place to drink lots of beer when you can get perfectly drunk at home? And you don't have to put up with all the other drunken ass. Huh. I think that came from the door. Huh. Someone shoved a letter under my door. It looks very old-fashioned. It even has a wax seal. And the symbol on it is a... a frog. Hmm, a newspaper article. March 13th, 2017. Motorcyclist narrowly escapes death. It's about my accident. Accident. Yeah, right. Assault would be the right word. They threw me out of the job. And they tried to kill me, I'm sure of it. They came too close to their lies, crimes and corruption. Scumbags. Someday, I'll have proof. I don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> it has a wax seal on it, like in those weird period dramas. Maybe I'm invited to a ball. The last event I went to seemed awful at first. But ended up being quite lit. Let's see. Huh. It looks like a poem. The one where the words matter as much as the shape they're written in. These poems have some obscure name... Kami... K Kali... Ugh, I knew it once. Yeah, Grandpa was very much into them. It doesn't matter now. O oh, daughter of the son of the seeker, go find the answer to questions unknown. Look for them at the... Brassy figure, a saint you vow exist. Ariola relit ifs. A bond between us that yet requires trust. Guess it's some sort of riddle? Leading to, a uh, Location? This is the first time in weeks I've gotten any sort of information. Might as well follow it and see where it goes. My phone. And guess what? I use it to make calls. I don't need to go anywhere. Daughter of the Son of the Seeker. Who is the Seeker here? What I do know is that my grandpa wasn't to these kind of poems. 
Maybe he collected some in his folder of weirdness? Wait, this shape. That's the Bavaria statue. Kind of unexpected. I mean, it fits, though. She's the saint of the city. I wonder what it means. The statue is a personification of the free state of Bavaria. The statue overlooks the massive space where the Oktoberfest is held. Hmm. No. No. The poem in the journal entry must be talking about the Torisian Visa. That's where the Bavaria statue is located. And the annual Oktoberfest. I guess I'll be going to Oktoberfest after all. The Bavaria statue is right next to the Wizen. Looks like I'm going to Oktoberfest after all. JB will be ecstatic. If he's still conscious. Uh, here we are. The Bavaria statue overlooking the Oktoberfest Gaudi. But I'm not here to enjoy myself. Couldn't if I wanted to. To be honest, prices are insane. JB said he'd be in the Woltinga Brow Tent. How can you four drinks there? Focus. I need to figure out what's up with this statue. Then I can worry about JB's spending habits. Oh. Didn't expect to find anything other than Bavarian folk music here. You know, I've been getting that a lot tonight. Guess that means I'm doing something right, don't you think? So, how is it playing the xylophone at Oktoberfest? Oh, it's not a xylophone. It's called a vibraphone. Sorry, my bad. Don't worry. It's an easy enough mistake to make. Playing it here is going surprisingly well. I drew quite the crowd when I was performing. Now it seems people have lost interest, though. I'm thinking about heading home. Oh, do you know anything about the statue? Hmm, not much. I enjoy going inside, though. It's also fun to climb up. There's a great view over the festival. Whose motorcycle is that? Not mine, unfortunately. There's a man who occasionally enters the statue. I think he's doing repair work inside. I had to move some of his bags out of the way. See you later. Hey there, sis. Didn't think you would actually show up. <laughs> Just because I didn't answer your 500 messages. Oh, I assumed that was because your grandma phone finally found peace. Hey, watch it. This phone will outlive you and me both. And how are things with you? Living the dream. I mean, outside this tent. Better than you, I can tell you. Why don't you ever respond to my calls? I just have stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, so much stuff. Like being unemployed is much work. Thanks for reminding me. Someone should look out for you. We should hang out more. Yeah, maybe. Hey, have you ever been inside the Bavaria statue? <laughs> and, uh, that lady's too tall, even for me. <laughs> Hardy Har, I mean, do you know anything about her? Like, is there something hidden or something? You ask the weirdest questions. <laughs> let me, let me think. She was finished in 1850. State of the art at the time. 
She's cast in bronze. That's why you can go inside and see the negative shapes of all the details. She had a bit of trouble during the Third Reich. The Nazis had plans to destroy her, or at least alter her. Some say they actually did. And she hides the entry to the hollow earth. What? I'm just messing with you, sis. <laughs> the part about the Nazis altering her is true, though. Not sure about the hiding something. Yeah, well, thanks. I could use a drink. Who? Bad. I'm all out of cash. Didn't you hear my voice message? But I thought you came to rescue me from soberness. Huh. The family resemblance between you two is uncanny. Hey, have you ever been inside the Bavaria statue? She's cast in bronze. That's why you can go. She had a bit. The. See you later. Hey, Dora. Enjoying the wizen? Not exactly enjoying. I enjoy seeing you here, though. Long time no see. Yeah, surprised you left your flat. I dig your tortured ex cop shtick. <laughs> How are things going, then? All right, still love criminal psychology. Can't wait to be a mad psychological genius, a rogue detective chasing down some psychopath. Great life goal. I know. What do you know about the Bavaria statue? Not much more than what JB just told you. See you later. So, this is where they store all the old beer kegs. That's a funny looking key. I'll take it just in case. They use these hammers to open up the barrels. All these barrels have weird symbols on them. All these barrels have... All right, I'm in. Now what? Hmm, the person who wrote the letter knew my grandpa. Maybe I can find something useful in his journal. This is one of the last pages in the journal. Found a reference to his key. Huh. The line looks quite weird when it's inverted. A typical metal ladder for reaching high up places. Or normal places when you're my height. A large duffel bag, large enough to store some good tools. That's quite a noticeable bag. I suppose it belongs to the musician outside. Someone left a notepad here. Huh. 
Huh. I can see a part of Wizen from here. From here, all I can really see are three tents. The Oltwasser tent, the Detrop tent, and the Voltingabra tent. The notepad is empty, but this... Bavaria's statue is a key to the legacy. Maybe there's a hidden compartment. I couldn't find anything. Letter from the archive seems useless meandering, except this line. I stare from her eyes and witness my legacy. I now know where I can safely entrust my treasure to. That's it. Whose notepad is this? And why are they also looking into the Bavaria statue? I don't see how those two- A riddle is likely talking about the tents I saw. But what's so special about these tents? Maybe other people know. There were three tents in view. But what's so special about these tents? Maybe other- Let's try something else. I think they're not connected. Hi again. Do you know anything about the bags inside the statue? One of them is mine. The others? No idea. I think it belongs to this man who's been going in and out all day. Do you know anything about the beer tents over there? Oh, sorry. I don't actually drink beer. You must be having a terrible time. At least I'm not spending everything I'm earning here. See you later. Hey, I'm back. Do you know anything about these beer tents? I know I like hanging out in them. What can you tell me about the trap? <sighs> Roman Catholic vanguard. Their beer doesn't even abide to the Reinheitsgebot. And the tent? The tent? <laughs> the tent certainly doesn't abide to the Reinheitsgebot. <laughs> I forgot how annoying you are when you're drunk. What can you tell me about Wolpentingebroi? Oh, heck yeah! Wolpentingebrau! The good stuff! Anything else? Why the questions? You know, just a thing I'm investigating. Are you getting yourself in trouble again? Who made you suddenly the older sibling? I see the position like a timeshare. Anyhow, about that tent. There's like stories. Uh, hold on. Why are you taking your phone out? Because didn't have such a brick for a phone, you could have looked this up yourself. Ah, here it is. Wolpatinga Brown, founded in 1383, it exchanged hands over the centuries, but was eventually taken over by Joseph Schulein, pillar of the community. Until he had to flee the city, never to be seen again. Because he was Jewish, and the Nazis, they didn't like that. Real assholes, those Nazis. Oh, here's about the legacy. He really liked this spot. And so, ever since he fled, the tent has stood on this spot, unchanged. Because if there's anything Bavarians like more than beer, it's tradition linked to beer. What can you tell me about the Altwasser tent? Cheap beer with regrettable consequences. They replaced half of the alcohol with sweeteners. Who does that? What about the tent? I've oh, never seen it before now. Enough about tents.
Do you have any more information on Joseph Shuhan? Uh, who now? The brewer. You just read about him on your phone. Don't expect me to remember things in this state, Juju. See you later. Hey. What's up? Do you know anything about these beer tents? Maybe. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the Detrop tent? Huh, that's some heavy beer. It's made by an order of monks called the Trappists. Much like every monastic order before them, they wanted to return to simplicity. If simplicity means high alcohol specialty beer, sign me up. Right. But is there anything special about the tent? Nothing more than whoever's sponsoring them must have a lot of cash on hand. They say it's the Roman Catholic Church trying to get us all drinking. Of course it is, JB. What can you tell me about the Voltingebroi tent? That's the tent we're in right now. Ever since I've known about Oktoberfest, it's been here, at this exact spot. Apparently, it's a tradition. What can you tell me about Altlazer? That it tastes like it sounds. It was recently launched by a big American corporation. They wanted something that sounded authentically German. If you want to get drunk for less money, that's your tent right there. Let's go there! Not that desperate, and neither are you. So, it's a new tent. First time they're at the Wiesen. And nobody knows how they convinced the city to allow an American corporation here at Oktoberfest. Weird stuff. <sighs> and why are you so into beer tents all of a sudden? <laughs> new hobby? Just the thing I'm looking into. Nothing special. That's also what I say when I'm up to nothing suspicious at all. Ever heard of the name Joseph Shalloin? The brewer who had to flee the Nazis? Typical, well-loved member of the community who grew eccentric over time. The Nazis trying to overthrow the government in his beer hall in 1923 didn't help. How do you know so much about him anyway? Munich's history is fascinating. Especially the things the city's embarrassed about. Sometime I should tell you about all the witch burnings that happened here. See you later. Hi again. See you later. Whew. That is a good-looking motorcycle. Whoever owns it knows what a good time looks like. Hi again. Do you know anything about the beer tents over there? Oh, sorry. You must be. At least... See you later. Let's try something else. I think this might be the relevant tent. The logo is strange. I thought the Voltinger was a rabbit thing, but here it is a lion. Joseph Schlein was the owner of the Voltinger Brow. That doesn't work. Oh, the tent. That doesn't work. Schlein's legacy, the Voltinger Brow tent. The logo on the tent. He's talking about a lion! Mmm... Uh, the logo is strange. I thought the Voltinger was a rabbit thing. But here it is a lion. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen this before. Hmm... I don't see how those... I think they're not connected. Of course. The Lion of Lady Bavaria. 
Guess I'm going to take a closer look at it. The Lion of the Lady Bavaria. I can possibly access it from the inside. I'll need a ladder to get to it. A typical metal ladder for reaching high up places. I can use this to get up to the lion's head. Not a fan of sticking arms inside of lion's mouths. Even when those mouths are inverted. Ah, <sighs> but here we go. I'm touching a metal plate with what feels like a keyhole. I'll need a key of some sort for this. Let's try something else. This doesn't make any sense. I need a key. This key has four teeth that can be put in different positions. Which tooth shall I adjust? The Lion of the Lady Bavaria. I can possibly access... Considering everything up, maybe I... Considering everything, maybe... I need a key. Considering everything up till now, this can't just be a random number. Maybe a year. Joseph Schleim was the owner of the Voltingerbrau. I stare from her eyes and witness my legacy. I now... Let's go down again. Hey, what's up? What was that about Joseph? He was the owner of the Walpert Tinger Brook. In 1923, his, he fled. See you later. Considering everything up, maybe. Something has clicked. I can't move the teeth anymore. Looks like I solved it. Ah, I found a reference to his key. Looks like I... I need a key. Which I do have, in fact. That seemed to be it. There's a compartment of some sort. There's a letter inside. And some sort of telescope? There are weird signs on it. I can't find it anywhere. I swear I had it. We should go. You don't get it. Without the notes, I won't be able to find it. Then we do plan B. Just let me have another look. No, plan B it is. We don't have time to keep messing about. Not with them getting closer every moment. Sorry, but the lady has something we need. Or no one else can have. Deus mihi gnoske. They're going to blow up the statue. 
I could try to fight these bikers, but let's not rush anything. Maybe I can find out why exactly they are here at all. A cipher key of some sort. Have I seen these symbols before? Hmm. I have seen these symbols before, on the barrels in the beer tent. I need to investigate them, and quick. It might be this cipher key, or one of these barrels that the bikers are searching for. I found this inside the statue. It has these dials I can turn, but nothing happens. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. If I push this down, I'll be able to take out one of them. Maybe both. This is none of your business. Judging by the contents of that bag, this is exactly my business. That thing? How did you find that? Smart people, smart thinking. And some help from a notepad I found. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Give it now, and walk away. I never walk away from a good fight. Both are down and not in a state to talk. I'll let my old colleagues sort this out for once. Shit! More bikers! Got to get away. Judith, what, what's going on? Are you in trouble? They claim I stole something from them. Which I didn't. I may have... Uh, I also hit a couple of them just now. I mean before that! They had explosives on them. They were planning on blowing up the statue, JB. Who'd want to blow up Oktoberfest? They're... Uh, some sort of cult... Hold on a minute. There they are! The ciphers! What ciphers? What is going on? Just keep it together and hold the door. Each barrel has those weird symbols on them. They're Cistercian numerals. What? Why do you always know the weirdest shit, JB? Just hurry up, Judith! just five barrels with these ciphers anyway. I could try to solve it. Or just smash them to pieces and see if there's anything hidden. Hurry! I need something to open it. This might come in handy. Let's see what's in there. Beer. Big surprise! Will you hurry up and find your thing? I'm working on it! All right, let's do this. What is this? I'll check it out later. JB, I got it! I solved it! Solved it? You're solving puzzles! Of all the things you could be doing right now! Like helping me stop these assholes! Or make something of your life! You're... solving puzzles! You have no idea how important this is what I discovered. And don't judge me. I deal with things in my own way. By not responding to my messages? By locking yourself up for weeks! Oh, by picking fights with psychopaths! At least I'm not some irresponsible child drinking and drugging myself into an early grave. Is that how you see me? I... The door! Hold the door! A girl like you shouldn't be in situations like these. Wait. That voice. That voice is... He was there. When I was visiting that weird club several years ago. When I was looking for the reason for my accident. He was that asshole who was performing some kind of ritual. 
Who are these people? Some would call them cultists. Others would call them pious. But I call them a problem. <laughs> you and me both. Well, today is your lucky day. Now leave! Who are you? Not a friend. You better leave. Why are there all these riddles? Good way to hide your knowledge from your many enemies. But Shulane cared about the truth, and cared that the truth could still be found. I suggest you stop your research. Your father knew too much. Don't repeat his mistakes. Now go! What do you know about me? More than you'd be comfortable with. Now stop talking and get out! So, I have... <sighs> I shouldn't talk about that. I don't think I can trust him. No, nothing. I was mistaken. Don't fool around with me! Sorry. It just has been a very long day. I better leave now. Thanks for the help. Don't tell the police. They won't find any evidence anyway. Why? Why are you looking at the bag? Wait! You're going to destroy everything? Don't argue with me. And stop asking questions. You can't just blow up a whole tent! Listen. You don't need to trust me. I don't need your trust. If you stand in my way, you will have enemies against you. You wouldn't believe it. But... You don't even understand what chance I'm giving you! Next time, it won't be so easy! Now you both, piss off! I need to stop waking up like this. And I didn't even drink at Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, those strange bikers, the explosion. That happened, right? What did I do afterwards? Why does my head feel like it's filled with clouds? Something has happened. Why can't I remember? I think it needs a very special key to wind it up. And I don't have it. JB really turns this place into a mess. He sleeps like a baby. No big surprise, I guess. He was very drunk yesterday. Hey, time to get up. Hmm? Oh, you're back. Goody. Wait, what? How are you holding up? It feels like the explosion took place inside my head. Eh, drink some water and eat some fatty foods. Ugh, I don't even want to think about that. You can sleep later. What happened yesterday? Uh, I think stuff exploded. Did we do that? Not us, a so-called ally. Someone who seems to know a lot more than they're letting on. And who has other ambitions than keeping a crowd safe. Uh-huh. Hmm. You said I'm back. Was I gone? Weren't you? Uh, are, are you a ninja? No. 
you sure I wasn't just sleeping over there? I didn't see you when I came out of the bathroom. Wouldn't I remember when I went out again after all this craziness yesterday? Ow. My head hurts like crazy when I try thinking about it. You don't look good. I'm fine. I've got some things to figure out. Sleep tight. On it. March 13th, 2017. Motorcyclist narrowly escapes death. It's about my accident. Accident. Yeah, right. Salt would be the right word. I found this inside the marked barrel. It's a series of glyphs. Wait, this looks like the symbols on the sheet I found. Huh. I think I need more help for this. Hmm. I think I need to do something else first. I got JB to my apartment. And... I feel there's more, but it's all vague now. The slumbering headache isn't helping me. I was gone. What's this? Doesn't look like dirt, more like flour. It smells ugh, kind of like a swamp. Ah, oh, my head, the stinging pain. Is this some kind of smelling salt? Hmm. I should try something up. Something happened between us coming back and me waking up now. Whatever this is, it's giving me a huge headache. Something happened between... I don't see how those two are re I think they're not connected. Let's see if Grandpa mentioned anything about this. Oh, something stuck to this page. I think I've seen this before. It's a cigarette. One made from a rolled up sheet of something. It smells... Ah, pretty good, actually. A little of my headache just cleared up. Hmm. I think I've done this before. Something happened, but... It's a cigarette. Hmm, this cigarette. Brenda, I trust you not to posthumously poison me. Let's focus on the white powder, white dust, and swamp smell. And then... Ah, <sighs> it's like the headache is wrapped in clouds now. It hurts less. I... I think I can remember. Not all, but in part. A hand. The powder. Someone blew it right into my face. So this stuff didn't come from the letter at all. I was drugged by someone. I was drugged by someone. I should try something. JB said I wasn't here. And my head hurts like crazy when I think about leaving the flat. It must be a trigger for a memory. <sighs> Let's focus on leaving. Think of the door. Think of last night. Oh, sweet pain relief. My head's clearing up. There was a knock on the door. JV was still in the bathroom. And like a total idiot, I just opened the door. I can remember a figure. He looked familiar. This doesn't make any sense. 
A familiar man. But why was he familiar? And why was he here? Let's try something else. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't work. Okay, let's focus again. The man was familiar. Why? Oh, he was the same guy who came to our rescue. I had to go with him. It was important, he said. But he wouldn't tell me where we were going. But there would be someone else. I was told to go and see some mystery person. Let's try something else. Damn it! No matter how much I'm trying to focus, it's not getting any clearer. Wait. I remember putting something in my pocket. Let's see. It looks like a business card. There's a number on one side. And on the other it says... M-A-P. Is that a name? Or an organization? Is that who abducted me? And who my supposed ally works for? Everything points towards that one case my grandpa was working on. There's no alternative. I have to press on. A business card with a number and the initials MAP. Hmm. I think I've seen this before. Hmm. Who is this map, and what does he want? I should try. I think they're not connected. Let's try something else. I don't see how those two are. That doesn't work. I could call these people, but what would I say? I also don't know how I got away. Let's try and see who we're dealing with first. Who is this map, and what does he want? No, what? That doesn't work. I think they're not. Let's try something. I should try. Let's try something else. I don't see how those. Hmm. 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 Let's try something. JB really turns this place into. March 13th, 20. Motor. It's about. I haven't figured out where to go. He sleeps like a baby. How are you holding up? It feels like the explode. Eh, drink some water. Ugh. Oh. You can sleep late. Uh, I think stuff exp Not us. As someone. And who. Uh huh. I've got some on it. I think it needs a very special, and I don't have it. Who is this map? No, I can't just call. I don't see how. My grandpa loved his ciphers. Let's see if I can just the page in my journal should help me. It reads... Hmm... 
six feet under the former resting place of 11 false heroes, a temple for true villains. Guess that leads me to the next place I need to check out. Six feet under. I think they're not connected. I found this inside the Bavaria statue. A cipher key of some sort. I haven't figured out where to go next yet. Six feet under. Let's see if I can find something in Grandpa's old journal. Seems he was also following the tracks of Shaline. According to his notes, I need to go to the Aaron Temple. Oh, right. That place. I know it. It's near Koenigsplatz. The temples themselves were destroyed. The foundations are still there, though. I think JB can sleep off last night on his own. Time to head out and see what explodes this time. With all these lost memories and stuff, I hope it's not my head. <laughs> 